And in business, Vice President Emi Oshibajo says providing support to small businesses in the informal sector should be priority for all economies aiming at lessening adverse effect of the COVID-19 pandemic. Oshibajo spokesperson Lao Lua Konde in a statement in Abuja said the Vice President made this subject submission on Wednesday at a meeting. Organized by Africa.com, Oshibajo acknowledged that Nigeria's massive population constituted a challenge in the fight against the coronavirus pandemic. Joining me live is Funke Medun, Director and Country Manager at Leap World Limited. Hello, Funke. Good day. Hello. How thank are you, you for joining us on the news. I'm very well, thank you. Now, the Vice President, Emi Oshibajo, says providing support to small businesses in the informal sector should be priority for all economies that aim at lessening the adverse effects of uh, COVID-19 pandemic. What could that mean for MSMEs? Oh, yeah. So what that could, that, what that could mean for MSMEs is that, well, we take it that the government is thinking about the MSMEs. Uh, the informal sector is quite large in Nigeria. It accounts for... You know, so you see these people, they're not really registered with a lot of with government agencies. They're not really formalized. So all these retailers, maybe some hairdressers, though in a way they have their own structures and clusters because they belong to certain associations, but they are actually not formalized. So most of them don't have their businesses registered, for example. But it means that governments, by the way, appreciate the fact that they are so huge we have 37 million of them, and they account for for about 84% of jobs created in Nigeria. So that is really huge. Imagine if those people are challenged and they are not formalized. So if we don't pay attention to them, it's a big problem. And you can see that government made some effort. I'm not speaking for government. I'm not saying they're doing enough, but perhaps suggest they are thinking about them. And you can see some of the things they've been doing in terms of maybe the palliatives. You can see the CBN uh, COVID-19 intervention fund. They didn't only stop at the formalized sector. You see, they put a product for the households where these people can perhaps you know, fall under, even if you can't go through the formal SME registered um, businesses. Okay, so I think maybe government is saying they are thinking about them. Whether they will do enough to cater for this sector is another kettle of fish. Now, yeah. what, are, what are some of the specific challenges faced by these MSMEs during the lockdown period? Oh, yeah. So there, there's a lot. Um, so government is saying that essential services can move, but non-essential, we have to stay at home. So the question is, can every business work from home? So I don't know how someone that is doing, um, that is manufacturing, for example, can work from home, especially if I'm not manufacturing food. So you see, a lot of them have cash flow issues, there are sales issues, there are production issues, there are logistic issues. Some people have products that are perishable. I was listening to the news and some people up country, I'm in Lagos, saying that they have agricultural products that they have, that people will ordinarily come from Lagos and, you know, Southwest. But because they locked down, they have their goods perishing. So you see, and sitting at home, a lot of people live from hand to mouth. So you can see they have cash flow issues, they have sales issues, they have logistic issues, they are losing their products. And it's, it's quite enormous. This time, it's really a big challenge for a lot of businesses. Even some of us that were in the formal sector, okay, you see customers can't cancel contracts. Maybe projects that we've said we wanted to do before that they've signed with you, even with a purchase order, but we can't meet. Okay, and so these are some of the huge issues that a lot of these SMEs are going through in Nigeria right now. So it's really quite a tough and challenging period for a lot of SMEs. I can imagine. Thank you so much, Funke, for your time. Because of time, that's all we can have at this time.